hello everyone and welcome back to my channel so in today's video i am making the first ever video in my whole new series called snitch chat tips so in a separate video um i made a video about roleplay tips in star stable when you're roleplaying as a wild horse um so today I thought to make a video on tips and tricks for being a good club owner in Star Stable. Okay, so I am training while I do this for more, you know, background to it. Okay, um, and also I need to train my work. I cannot move when I'm blah, blah, blah. anyway. Anyway, anyway, so my first tip is a good club name. Not very long and complicated, but something that goes together, you know. There is, oh, yeah, it's the, it's the, um, it's a, yeah, it's the SSO Con Team 2023 t-shirt that I just got. Okay, but, but anyway, my first tip yeah, it was a club name, right? And I would also recommend club names that goes together, like Turbo Turtles and t Dinosaurs. I'm pretty sure there are, are already clubs with these names, so I don't think they can be taken. But just clubs name, club names in general that goes together is something that I would recommend. <clears throat> Basically, what I mean by that is club, not club names that are like um win buddy screw because that's just i don't know if your club's name is something like that that's great it's a unique name but it is a bit um it's a bit hard to understand if that makes sense okay so my next tip is also something along the lines of club names so i would not recommend coping the names of a famous club because that will kind of put your club in a bad light if you know what i mean okay but anyway my next tip will go to any social media platform like having a website or a discord server or like maybe a i don't know instagram account for your club because that will just make the club bigger quicker because people will get to know that the club is that that you made your club like outside of you making advertisements in global okay so my t next tip is having a nice outfit for your club and by nice outfit i mean an outfit that is unique that no other clubs have but that also looks good and that other mem that the members in your club also think looks good and it is also smart to have something that does it isn't extremely expensive because you want people to be able to buy the outfit obviously <coughs> sorry and then oh my horse got leveled up <laughs> Um, yeah, you want people to be able to buy the outfit as soon as possible. And, yeah, that's basically it for the outfit. Okay, uh, but anyway, the next one says, says, sorry, my next tip, oh, I'm crying into this. Um, my next tip is, Oh my gosh, I'm crushing us. Stop. The next tip is choose a theme for a club. Like, for example, you can choose it's a show jumping club, it's a dressage club, it's a western club. You should pick one or two of those themes. Like, for an example, this is just an example. Uh, you, your club could be a dressage and hangout club where you mainly do dressage but also have a few hangout activities 
or you can mainly just do random activities around the game and but also have dressage practice once a week or something that is pretty much something that other people do but like it could still be fun um okay so the next one kind of also has to do with activities my next step which also has to do with activities that i just said maybe to pick an activity that not many clubs have because if your club has a unique activity people will be drawn to that club because of the activity right and if not many other clubs have that specific activity your club will be popular really quickly because of the people that want that activity and want to do it with other people okay so my next little tip is running your club through discord um running your through through running your club through discord makes it pretty much easier to run a club since you can put out more information there and in discord you can also do voice calls which is really helpful especially for dressage so you can like communicate with your club through that instead of having to use the club chat not that using the club chat is bad it's just that using the club chat for the dressage that is a bit difficult i feel like because you like you have to write everything everything down and it's more difficult to like explain because you have to write it down <clears throat> and it will also take up time from the practice okay uh, so my next little tab is this is the last tab also this is the last tab good communication with your club especially the leaders yes when you have a leader in your club you need to make sure that they also agree with the decisions you make since what's the point of having a club leader if you're just going to do all the decisions yourself and just run the club completely by yourself and also with the members you need to stay in contact with the members and make sure that you are helpful enough if the members need help or if they if someone's bothering them in a club make sure to either make you or one of the leaders take care of it because that way everyone will just have a better experience within the club okay so that the fact that i said this was my last little tip was also not true <laughs> okay so this is actually my last tip guys don't worry my very last tip is of this drum roll please you need to decide if you want to have a small or a big club yeah i mean for most people bigger clubs are more fun but for some people you know some people like smaller clubs as well and it's really important to know what you want to have in your club like if you want it to be a big club with a lot of members like active members or if you just want it to be a bit of a tighter group that is really important for your club's dynamic to know so you can put yourself to a little limit on how many members you want in a club like instead of maxing it out 50 50 members you if you want a smaller club maybe say you put the max on somewhere near 20 or 30 members so yeah that was all the tips that i had and remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in my next video bye